Hey everyone, it's Steve again, and I'm going to show you how you can use DVD Fab to copy a DVD. First, we need to download DVD Fab, and that program is used to break the copy protection on the DVD and allow you to copy the disc to the computer hard drive. At the website shown, scroll all the way to the bottom of the page and find out if your computer meets the system requirements for the program. If your computer meets the requirements, scroll back to the top of the page and find the download button. Download and install DVD Fab. First thing we're going to do is make a main movie DVD. This is a DVD that just contains the main movie itself. All the extras will be removed from the disc. Go ahead and open DVD Fab. At the very top, you'll see where it says DVD Copy. As long as this has not expired, we can make a main movie DVD. If DVD Copy has expired, we can use a program called DVD Shrink to make a main movie DVD. I'll have information later on in this video on how to use DVD Shrink. Since my version of DVD Copy has not expired, we're going to go down to the very bottom and select HD Decryptor. We're going to select that and then hit the button that says Start DVD Fab. Once the program starts, you can then go ahead and insert your DVD into the computer. At this time, DVD Fab will read the disk and break any copy protection that may be on it. Once that is complete, we are then going to go to the left hand side of the program and find where it says main movie and select that. In the center of the screen you'll see all the video sources on the DVD. The longest one is usually your movie, so select that. On the right hand side you'll see all the audio options that are available. If any of them are a foreign language that you don't speak, you can unselect them. Right below that box you'll see all the subtitles on the DVD. You can remove any that you do not want. By removing any unnecessary audio or subtitle tracks, you're actually allowing more data to be given to the video quality. If you're unsure about a specific audio track, you can preview the movie in the bottom left hand corner. If you right click on that black box, you can change the audio settings to a specific channel. At this point we're going to talk about the different types of blank DVDs. There are two main types of blank DVDs, single layer and dual layer. Single layer are the most common types of blank DVDs. They're called DVD minus R's or DVD plus R's. They both hold about 4.7 gigs of data and you can get 50 of them for less than $20. Dual layer discs hold twice as much data as a single layer disc, but they cost twice as much. These discs are called DVD plus DLs. You can get 25 of them for about $25. Going back to the program, we're gonna go near the bottom of the screen to the drop down box that says either DVD 5 or DVD 9. If you have a single layer DVD, you're going to select DVD 5. In this particular example, you'll see that the quality is dropped down to 65%. That's because the main movie is actually larger than 4.7 gigs of data. To get the best quality of video on our DVD, we're going to want the quality as close to 100% as we can. That is where you need to go and unselect those audio channels that you don't need. If you have a dual layer disc, you'll want to change that drop down to DVD 9. In this example, you'll see that the quality is 100%. That's because the video is less than 8.5 gigs of data. Once we made those changes, we need to choose our save location for our ISO file. To the far right of the target, we're going to select the icon that is next to the folder. Choose a save location that is easy for you to find. I always save my ISO files directly to my desktop. Once you have selected a save location, all we need to do is hit the next button and then on the following page hit the start button and that will allow DVD Fab to copy the contents of the DVD to the computer hard drive. This step will take approximately 20 minutes. The last thing you need to do is burn the ISO to the DVD. In Windows 7 or Vista, you can use the built-in Windows Image Burner. Right-click on the ISO file, select Open With, and choose Windows Disk Image Burner. From here, select your DVD drive, and then click Burn. Once the DVD has burned, you can then play it in your DVD player. Next, I'll show you another option. The next option we have is to make a full disk DVD. This will make a perfect one-to-one -one copy of the original DVD. This will include all the extras on the DVD. 
but I only recommend doing this if you have a dual layer DVD or if you're going to be using Handbrake afterwards. Open up DVD Fab. At the very top where it says DVD Copy, if DVD Copy has expired, we still might be able to make a full disk DVD. Once again, we'll be using HD Decryptor. At the very bottom, select HD Decryptor and start DVD Fab. Once the program opens, go ahead and insert your DVD. DVD Fab will then go ahead and break the copy protection on the DVD. On the left hand side, make sure Full Disk has been selected. Then go to the bottom drop down box and select the type of DVD that you have. If you have a single layer DVD, keep in mind that you will affect the video quality. Where it says quality 64%, you want that number to be as close to 100% as possible. To the far right of the target, we need to click this button to choose our save location for our ISO. Choose a location that is easy for you to find. I always choose to save my ISO files to my desktop. After that is complete, all we need to do is hit the start button, and that will allow DVD Fab to copy the contents of the DVD to your computer hard drive. Copying the DVD to your computer will take about 20 minutes. The last thing we need to do is burn the ISO file to a DVD. In Windows 7 or Vista, you can use the built-in Windows Disk Image Burner. Right-click on the ISO file, open with, and choose Windows Disk Image Burner. From here, select your DVD drive and click Burn. If DVD Fab's DVD Copy feature has expired, we can use a program called DVD Shrink to make a main movie DVD. Use DVD Fab's HD Decryptor to copy the original DVD to your computer hard drive. Download and install DVD Shrink. Open up the program and go to the File menu and choose Open Disk Image. Find your disk image on your computer hard drive and select Open. The program will then analyze your DVD. Once complete, go to the top and select the button that says Reauthor. On the right, under Main Movie, find the title with the longest duration. This should be your main movie. Drag that title from the right hand side to the left, under where it says DVD. Under the tab that says Compression Settings, we can remove any of the audio or subtitle tracks that we do not need, just like in DVD Fab. To test the audio tracks, right click on the black box and select the audio track that you want to preview, then hit the play button. After that you can hit the backup button and choose your save location. Change your target type to an ISO file, select your save location, and hit OK. DVD Shrink will then encode your DVD to a single ISO file. Just like the other type of DVDs that we made, we then need to burn the ISO file to a DVD. Find your ISO file, right click on it, select Open With and choose Windows Disk Image Burner. Select your DVD drive, insert a DVD and select Burn. So this is the end of this video. Hopefully you'll be able to use DVD Fab to back up your DVDs. Feel free to ask any questions you may have, and thanks for watching.